Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley and I'd like to invite you to be a part of my YouTube channel where you'll find lots of delicious recipes and so much more. Today I'm going to show you how to make a shrimp and vegetable skillet. It's so easy to make and full of flavor. Let's get started. If you're in the mood for delicious food, come cook with Rose Oatley. For our veggies, we're going to start with one red bell pepper. You want to cut and de-seed it. Then we're going to cut it into one inch chunks. You'll also need one green bell pepper. Next, cut the ends off one zucchini, then cut it in half lengthwise and start slicing it. I find that these veggies I'm using here today pair really well with my shrimp. We'll be doing the same thing to one squash. I have one package of portobello mushrooms I'm going to be cutting. Usually I cut these in fourths, but these are actually quite large, so I might give them an extra cut here. I'm also going to chop up a little bit of cilantro. Now don't skip on this because this is going to give it a really nice flavor. Cut about half of an onion into one inch pieces. I'm going to be serving my meal with white jasmine rice. Here I've got two cups of white jasmine rice. You want to make sure that you rinse it really well until the water is clear. You want to boil two cups of water and one cup of chicken broth. Now if you don't have the chicken broth, you can just go with three cups of water. Once your water is boiling, you want to go ahead and add your rice. When the water starts bubbling, turn down your heat to a number three, cover it up, and then cook for 17 minutes. I like using my cast iron skillet for this recipe and here I'm adding two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Once your butter has melted, add all of your veggies but not your cilantro. You're watching Rose Oakley. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. Give it a good mix, and I've got quite a few veggies in here, so I think I'm going to need a little bit more olive oil. I'll just add a little more here. Let's go in with a little bit of salt, and here I'm using kosher salt. This is about half a teaspoon. I feel when I use kosher salt, a little goes a long way. Now we're going to hit it with some pepper, and this is to your taste. Add one teaspoon of minced garlic, equivalent to one clove of garlic. By the way, I have my heat set at a number seven. This may seem like a lot of veggies for this pan, but some of these veggies are going to be shrinking down, so I will be okay. And by the way, if you're interested in a cast iron skillet, I will go ahead and post the link below in my description section, so be sure and check it out. I also always post all of the ingredients to every single one of my recipes in the description section. I just added one teaspoon of cumin. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of oregano. Cook your veggies until they're tender and crispy but not soggy. Then you want to go ahead and place them on another plate temporarily. I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe my pan clean. Over here, looks like my rice is ready. You want to fluff it up. Add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it another mix, quick mix. Fluff it up with a fork. Then cover it up and remove it from the hot burner. We'll set it aside for when we're ready. Moving on to a hot pan, you want to add two tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the pan is hot and your butter has melted, you want to add two pounds of peeled and deveined large raw shrimp. I'm going to set my heat to a number six. Then to our shrimp, we're going to add about half a teaspoon of kosher salt, or you want to salt it to your taste. Add some pepper to your taste. 
To your shrimp, you want to add one tablespoon of cumin, and we'll go with one teaspoon of oregano, three teaspoons of minced garlic, or three cloves of garlic, and we're going to add one tablespoon of this fancy light chili powder. Let's give this a good mix, making sure all the shrimp is coated in our delicious spices. Now, I normally don't like to overcrowd my shrimp, but I kind of am here today. I like to cook my shrimp about one to two minutes on each side. Shrimp does not take long to cook. You want to cook it until it's pink. Do not overcook it, otherwise you'll end up with a really rubbery texture, and you do not want that. Again, it doesn't take very long. If it's slightly undercooked, just a little bit, don't worry about it too much because we're going to be adding our veggies and it'll cook for an extra minute. These are looking pretty good here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat while I go grab my veggies. I don't want to overcook my shrimp because I know the pan is already super hot. All right, let's go ahead and add all of our veggies. And I was going to put everything in this larger pan, but I'm going to go ahead and push it. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be able to fit it all in here. All right, we want to give this a really good mix so everything's combined and the flavors will also marry. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish we had Smell TV because this smells so good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add most of my cilantro here. I'm going to leave a little bit uh, just for garnish but we'll add at least half of it in here. Now you're gonna wanna squeeze a whole lime in here. Ooh, this is gonna give it such a delicious flavor. All right, mmm, is your mouth watering already? All right, let's give everything a mix again and then we'll go plate. Here I've got a small glass container. If you have anything about this size, You'll be just fine to use. We're going to go ahead and pack in our white rice really well. Make sure you fill it all the way to the top and then just pack it. Now place your plate upside down against the container, tilt it over, and you're going to end up with a really nice decorative mount of rice. Ta-da! Now I'm just going to pour my shrimp and veggies right on top and then all around the rice. I like to top it off with a little bit more pepper and then I'll add a little more cilantro for garnish. Although you've got cilantro in here so you really don't have to add it. I'm just going to add just a little extra on mine. All right guys, so here you go. Shrimp vegetable skillet. What do you think? Oh, good. I am so sorry, guys, but I actually already just cheated. <laughs> and I uh, tried it already, but the flavors are so good. Here, try it. No, it doesn't that look good? Mmm, this is so good. This is actually one of my favorite shrimp dishes. All the different spices work so well together. I really hope you enjoy it and it becomes favorite in your home. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And be sure to check out these links on the side. Thanks for watching and your support. Share with your friends.